Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous video, we talked about the morphological part that is the structure of spirogyra and its cell and we also talked about asexual mode of reproduction which is not a common a method and the vegetative one that is by fragmentation. As we already talked of that the main method of reproduction in spirogyra is sexual and that is by conjugation. So let us talk about the method of conjugation in case of spirogyra. There are two ways in which this conjugation takes place. One is known as scalary form conjugation and the other one is called the lateral conjugation. Scalary form conjugation is between two cells of two filaments. There are two different filaments and their two different cells are going to conjugate and that would be called scalary form. In case of lateral conjugation, it is between two cells of the same filament. That means the conjugation process is going to take place between the cells which belong to the same filament. That means those two cells have to be adjacent cells. Lateral conjugation can again be of two types. One is called direct and the other one is indirect. Once we draw those structures and the process, we'll understand what is the difference between this direct and indirect. Let us first talk about this scalary form conjugation. Now what happens here is there are two filaments which come to lie side by side. So this is one filament and we are talking about only one cell and this is the other filament. These two filaments they remain together because of the mucilage that they have around themselves. And from these two cells arise a bulgy structure which is called the papilla. So there are these papillae which arise. So there are two bulging things which are arising from these two cells and now they are going to fuse. At the same time what is happening inside is that the cytoplasmic content, it becomes compact after losing water. So now the cytoplasm has become dense and it has become a circular structure. So a papilla is formed from each cell and its cytoplasmic content has become thick, condensed and circular. Now one cell is going to act as a male gamete. So this structure which is going to be formed here because there is a nucleus here, the haploid nucleus and this compact structure. So the cell is known as a gametangium. So these two cells which are participating in this process of conjugation, they start to act as gametangia. So one acts as a male cell and the other will act as a female cell. The male gametangium is going to produce a male gamete and the female gametangium will produce a female gamete. So this is going to act as the female gamete. So now there are two changes which have taken place. The papillae are formed and the cytoplasmic content has condensed to form a gamete. After this, these two papillae, they fuse and a conjugation bridge is formed. So they have fused and here, a connection is formed and now this connection is what is known as the conjugation bridge. So this structure is now conjugation bridge. Inside this gametangia, the cytoplasmic content has now become into a male gamete here and a female gamete here. The male gamete moves from the male gametangia into the female gametangia. So this is 
the male gamete and this is the female gamete. So now there is transfer of gamete which is taking place. After this, the cell which is going to receive the male gamete, that is this is always going to be the female cell. So now the female cell and after some time this conjugation bridge is going to break off so that the two filaments can separate. So say this bridge has broken off and now inside the female gametangium there is a fusion which has taken place. Fusion of the male gamete and the female gamete and a zygote is formed. And now this zygote becomes thick walled and we start calling the same zygote as zygospore. Inside the zygote meiotic division takes place. So, this meiosis results in formation of four haploid nuclei out of which one, two or three may degenerate. So, if three degenerate, there would be only one haploid nucleus that would remain and this zygospore when germinates would give rise to this filament of spirogyra. So, zygote is formed, zygotic meiosis takes place, four haploid nuclei would be formed. These are four haploid nuclei and the thing that we have to remember is normally three nuclei would degenerate, only one would remain. So, from one zygospore there would be only one filament which would be arising. So here we can write that the three nuclei degenerate and this is formed after genetic recombination and that is why conjugation is considered as a method of sexual reproduction. It is scalary form. There are two cells, one from each filament acting as a gametangium and one acts as a male gametangium, produces male gamete, the other one acts as a female gametangium and pr produces the female gamete. So this is how the scalary form uh, conjugation takes place. Now in case of the second one that is lateral conjugation. In lateral conjugation we said there are two types that is say this is A and this is B. In case of the direct one that is the first type conjugation is going to take place between the two adjacent cells of the same filament. Say this one is going to act as the male gametangium, this one act, is going to act as female gametangium and the cytoplasmic content would become condensed and will start acting as the gamete. So this would be the male gamete and this would act as the female gamete. Now the male gamete has to move into the female gametangium. So a perforation develops in the center of the septum and from here the male gamete is going to squeeze into the female gametangium. Fertilization fusion is going to take place in the female gametangium and rest of the things are going to be same. That means here zygote will be formed, a diploid zygote. The zygote would secrete layers around itself. It becomes thick layer and we would start calling it zygospore. In zygospore again meiotic division would take place to form four haploid nuclei out of which three will degenerate and one nucleus would survive and that zygospore on germination would give rise to one filament of spirogyra. So because this male gamete is moving directly through the central part of the septum, we call it direct one. And in case of the second one, that is the indirect one, again the gametangia are the two adjacent cells, but the exchange of gametes would be through one side of the septum. So there would be a papilla which would be formed, the septum would dissolve from one side, the male gamete, this is the female gamete 
and the male gamete is going to squeeze through one side of that opening. In both, it is between two cells of the same filament. But if the male gamete goes into the female gamete angel through the central perforation, then we call it the direct one. And if it goes through a side perforation, which is in the septum, then it is known as indirect. So the basic difference is in case of scalary form, conjugation takes place between two cells of two filaments. One cell of one filament is acting as male gametangium and the other cell is of the other filament acts as female gametangium. In case of lateral, the two cells which conjugate, they belong to the same filament. Only difference is from where does the male gamete penetrate or squeezes into the female gametangium. If it goes through the central port, we call it direct. If it goes through the side, then we call it indirect. And rest of the process is same whether it is scalary form or lateral. After fusion of the gametes, zygote will be formed. It will secrete layer to form zygospore. Undergoes meiosis to form four haploid nuclei out of which normally three degenerate. And when the zygospore germinates, that remaining haploid nucleus would give rise to the young filament of spirogyra. So, this primitive sexual me reproductive method that is conjugation is very well seen in case of spirogyra. So main method is sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is reported only in few species. That is nine species out of 300 species known. And rarely when the filament breaks, then it also reproduces by fragmentation. So this is how reproduction in spirogyra takes place.